What is up, my butter biscuits? So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys my thoughts and opinions on Jeffree Star's new collection. Just in case y'all are new here, this is something that I do whenever there's like new big makeup collections coming out. It's literally just makeup talk. And I always have to emphasize on my thoughts and opinions of, because I feel like so many people just like get offended and get bothered and literally start attacking me over an opinion. So I want to get that out there. This is my opinions on his collection. That is literally it. It's really not that deep. It's literally just makeup talk. Um, In today's video, we're not going to be discussing any any type of drama whatsoever this is literally focusing on the makeup collection only uh, with my last cremated thoughts and opinions video so many people were like literally going ham on me because of my opinions about you know one row being super ashy if y'all did not even know though I ended up purchasing that palette to do a review and I ended up really liking it but so many people were like literally attacking me over that I was like you guys it's just an opinion what you like I don't have to like you know what I'm saying and what I like you don't have to like it's literally just a personal preference a personal opinion and it's really not that deep it's just makeup talk that is it um and now look because i know there's obviously so much drama with jeffrey and I, obviously i have covered topics like this on my channel we're not going to be discussing that in today's video i did do that obviously in several videos before just in case you guys did not know let me give you a little reminder i will not be purchasing his products however obviously i will still commenting on makeup because his makeup collections really are you know big within the makeup industry and this one actually i have quite a few opinions on so i'm really excited to talk about this in today's video um let me just get it out there once again if you are not interested in my thoughts or opinions then just go ahead and click off of this video because that's just what this is so if y'all don't like my thoughts and opinions or don't want to hear it then click back on another video you know I will have makeup content coming soon. Y'all, it's just so hot. Like right now, I'm not even kidding you. It's 104 degrees in my garage where I film. And yes, I still have the beanie on. I was reading my comments last time. And everyone's like, take off your beanie if you're so hot. And I'm like, it legit catches my sweat. Like I'm not even kidding you when I tell you I'm bald. I have no hair whatsoever. So it does not catch the sweat. So I'll be filming a video and it'll literally be coming down. So I know that it's hot. And yes, the beanie does make me a little hotter. And a lot of people comment, you just having a beanie on makes me even hotter watching the video. And I'm like, y'all, I get it. However, it, it comes in handy, obviously, you know, when you're bald and it's trying to catch some sweat. I know it sounds nasty, y'all. I get it. But I just, I don't want to be on camera just sitting here dripping sweat. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, y'all, let me not even ramble. Let's go ahead and get into it because I feel like we have a lot to talk about today. So if y'all are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so that way you get notified when I upload a new video. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up because I would really appreciate that. And let's go ahead and get into it. All right, y'all. So I'm going to discuss the um, smaller things first, meaning like the glosses and stuff like that. I'm actually very surprised within this collection that he is coming out with a new product. Y'all know I've been very vocal literally every single collaboration that he's done. Every single time I do a my thoughts and opinions, I'm like, y'all, he literally just comes out with the same thing every single time. It's an, literally always merch, gloss, uh, lipsticks, and a palette. Like literally every single time. However, within this new collection, which I don't even know if I could say the name. Like, honestly, I don't know if I can like say that on YouTube because I feel like everything just gets demonetized these days so i'm kind of like uh, a little apprehensive to say the name <laughs> of this collection but anyways we're just going to say it the orgy collection um he did come out with a new formula of setting powders which i think is actually really really cool we'll be discussing that later i do want to start off with the smaller things like i mentioned um the smaller things as in like the less things that are like normally not as popular so um with the whole merch collection within this um orgy collection i have to say honestly in my personal opinion i do feel like this stuff is really cute um i do think that he does put a different take on things rather than what's really out there on the market especially within the beauty industry and i do have to say i do think with merch it's kind of cool you know um even though i don't know why he's coming out with sweaters in summer it is hot like super super hot and yes i know i'm wearing a beanie right now but I don't know, to just be chilling in a sweater right now, I would be dying because my boobs are like literally sweating right now. Um, the swim trunks are really cute, but I'm obviously never really much of a merch person in general. Um, so yeah, I mean, obviously this wouldn't be my cup of tea, but I do have to say it is cute. Um, moving forward, y'all. You guys know I'm very vocal every single time about the glosses and every single time you guys I'm not even telling you every single time I'm like his gloss pictures to me just look ugh, like they don't look appealing I said this so many times and I'm not kidding you every single time I say that comment I get DMs of like you see it's really pretty like people will be showing me like of them putting on the gloss it's really pretty it's nothing like the pictures and I'm like I never once said that the gloss was a bad formula I never once said the gloss was bad um, however I'm just saying within his pictures they're normally bad i'm like what is he thinking like i feel like he needs to put a base color on because every single time that he posts a picture and i put this in my um cremated palette collection uh thoughts and opinions video 
I was like, look how the gloss is literally just sitting in between the crevices of the lips. It looks caked up. It looks separated. It looks splotchy. Um, I have to say this time it does look better except for the middle row. Like zooming in on the middle row, this is exactly what I'm talking about. You guys can see right here. I just look at that and I'm like, oh, that looks like it's going to be a very splotchy gloss. And to me, that is not good um, because I've obviously experienced working in the makeup industry. Splotchy glosses, they just don't look complimenting on the lips. And I'm not saying that his formula does do that, but I'm saying the pictures are like that. You know, and everyone always gets so defensive every single time I'm saying that. And I'm like, y'all, look at the bottom uh, lip gloss and then look at the middle gloss and then look at the top lip gloss. It's like, why does the middle one look that way? Like literally every single time he does his, even when he did the, uh, like the whole reveal of the gloss when he first came out with that collection, I was like, oh, that is not appealing at all. And I'm sorry, but if I saw that on a big poster at a makeup counter, I would be like, I'm not buying that. Like, I'm just not like it looks so bad. You know, with that said, I have never purchased the gloss. I've never tried it, honestly. So I don't know how the formula is. I have tried obviously multiple of his other products, but I've never purchased the gloss. Um, I'm just saying, giving my thoughts and opinions, obviously on what's out there. And this is obviously imagery for his collection reveal. And I'm like, I look at that and I'm like, that's not appealing to me. The bottom one looks amazing. It looks great. That color looks beautiful. However, this middle one, I just focus on that and I'm just like, y'all, like, do you guys see that? I Every single time I've mentioned this, every single time, I'm not kidding you, I just get so many DMs of like literal, like girls have said me putting on the glass. You see it's bomb, it's bomb. I'm like, okay, I'm not, I'm like, I never said that it's bad, but I'm just saying that the imagery is bad. You know what I'm saying? But uh, same thing with this. I do feel like it does look better, especially compared to the whole cremated collection. Um, It 100% looks better. However, the middle row is just once again splotchy and just kind of uh but what do you guys think about these nude glosses um i i would have liked to seen a chocolate in there honestly like a deeper deeper one i think that would have looked really really beautiful like if he were to come out with a gloss that was like the shade of like what's his dark liquid lipstick is it like dominatrix that that's like rich chocolate color i think that would have been beautiful going in this however um that shade to the left is the bottom left is actually the deepest shade i would like to have seen one a little bit deeper than that but that's just my two cents on the gloss every single time i see his glasses they're just not appealing to me because of the imagery i'm just like oh why does it look like that but the bottom two look really good okay moving on here so this is his new um setting powder which is supposed to have like a luminous feel to it honestly this is something that would never ever ever work for me um i have pretty normal skin actually these days before i used to be super oily however now my skin is fairly normal but throughout the day i do tend to get oily just like everybody else a powder like this i think that it's great in theory but not to wear throughout the whole entire day because you're going to end up getting really shiny and oily i don't know if i told you guys before or if you guys have been on my channel that long but um way back when when kat von d came out with her setting powder there's kind of like um light reflecting pigments in there however it comes throughout the day, y'all. Oh, you get so shiny. And for somebody like me, it's just not good. I don't like it personally. However, I do feel like for photography and filming, it is beautiful because when you're working in front of these lights and it does give off that glow, just like I took this screenshot while watching his um, video, his skin does look really, really good. However, you can see right here, this part of his eye looks kind of oily. Normally, you don't really want to look too shiny right there, um, especially if you have fine lines and wrinkles like me, y'all. You do not want to use a powder that is going to have a lot of shine to it because it will emphasize your texture, your wrinkles, fine lines, all that good stuff. Um, however, I do have to say, about time he comes out with a new product in a collection, because I've said this so many times, I'm like, he literally just always be coming out with the same old products every single time. I'm like, come out with something new. And specifically within this collection, within this collection, because it's a nude collection, how beautiful would it have been if he came out with a um, highlighting and contour palette? I think that that would have been really, really cool because it's all nude shades, obviously. He could have came out with like three different versions, kind of like a light medium and dark version of highlighting contour palettes i think that would have looked great within this however about time that he came out with you know something new however a product like that to me just 100 would not work because any type of setting powders that have any type of shimmer or any type of light reflecting pigments in it it just will not work for me because i get too shiny too oily throughout the day and i'll be like I'll be looking like a glazed donut and that just won't be cute. However, what do you guys think of a powder like this? Are any of you guys really, really dry and like a powder to have a little bit of a luminosity to it? Um, I know even for me, it's crazy because even if, say, for example, I'm working on somebody who 
who has extremely oily skin, I still, I mean, extremely dry skin, sorry, I still don't put a illuminating powder on them. You know, I would put illuminating foundation on them. However, I don't know why just with illuminating powders, it just... I don't know it ends up looking a little bit too shiny throughout the day i always say this even though technically it's not a loose powder the mac mineralized skin finish it literally has a skin finish to it it's a satin finish i feel like that is gorgeous however within a um loose powder if it has any type of light reflecting pigments then it's going to have a little bit of shimmer to it so i don't know you guys let me know your two cents on that if you're really dry how does this appeal to you um i know the oily people out there probably will not be into this because y'all it's going to be really shiny because obviously just look at his face right here and it's pretty shiny i mean it does look good don't get me wrong it does look good but throughout the day i wonder after wearing it for about six hours how it would really look you know okay before we discuss the palettes y'all what do you guys feel about the Vault Liquid Lipstick Set? 25 mini liquid lipsticks, $160. Now look, I know 25 liquid lipsticks, and his formula, I will give it to him, even though, you know, he's kind of on the S list right now. Y'all know what the S stands for, I can't say it. Um, I will give it to him. His liquid lipstick formula is actually very nice, very comfortable, and, you know, it, it, it's really good. Um, however, $160? Like, who's going to be purchasing that? Because I'm like, y'all, do you guys really need that many lipsticks? I'm obviously somebody who does a lot of makeup content on my channel, and I'm like, oh, no, I do not need 25 lipsticks, especially for $160. However... Let me go ahead and talk about the new shades that are going to be coming out within this vault collection. I will say, besides the light one, that just would never work for me because my uh, outer lips are super, super dark. That just wouldn't look nice for me. The rest of the shades, I think, are absolutely gorgeous. I really, really like them. Um, I watched his video, and, and unless maybe I, like, I don't know, like, wasn't paying attention during this part, he didn't say that he was coming out with these just by itself. I thought he said that they were limited to the vault only, and I think that kind of sucks. Like, it pushes you to spend $160 if you really like these shades, and I'm like, y'all, that is too much. I think that he should have sold those five new shades on the side as well as in the vault because, y'all a hundred and sixty dollars y'all know i'm cheap like i cannot no um however i will say about the light shade i think this lip color will be great for a ombre style lip um to wear just by itself to me is just like a no-go unless you're like very very fair skin but i do think it would be beautiful like if you guys have chestnut uh lip liner from mac and kind of blended it on top of this i think that that would be beautiful um i just can't get over the price tag y'all but i do want to say this to give jeffree star credit because honestly y'all know even though i am opinionated about him and his drama and i'm just kind of like ugh, like he just uh he let me down, y'all. He's just real disappointing, you know, with his personality, uh, personality traits and characteristics. I will give this to him. Looking at that vault, like, it's really, really cute. And I think that that would make a great gift for somebody if you were going to drop $160. Because it's really cute, you know? Like, I like that he puts, you know, something a little extra into his packaging and design. And I feel like it really does catch the eye. Um, this is what I had said before about Jeffrey. I think that it sucks that he gets wrapped up in so much drama. Because I don't care what y'all say. I really do think that he has it within him to be a makeup great. I've always said that. I feel like the things that he comes out with are just so different. We're going to talk about that orgy palette though, y'all. <laughs> We're going to talk about that. But I do think a lot of the things that he comes out with is so unique and so just different compared to what's out there in the makeup world. And I think that it would be great, but I feel like his personality and his drama just holds him back from from all that greatness uh because i do really think looking at this i'm like y'all look at that packaging it looks really really cute it's literally a vault you open it up and it's all the lipsticks it's really cute but um 160 i just gotta keep emphasizing on that price y'all know i could not do it i am too broke for that that is just way too much for me but would you guys purchase this like does 25 liquid lipsticks within a set appeal to you like i don't know to me i'd be like five is a cool little set but uh 25 i'm real cool with that's too much for me all right y'all and before we get into the big palette which i feel like is always like you know the big talk of the makeup industry everyone loves their palettes and i'm actually glad to know that i'm not the only person that has a palette addiction y'all know i should probably count how many palettes i have because i just ugh, i have an addiction to palettes however as you guys know i did mention the beginning of this video as well i will no longer be purchasing jeffree star cosmetics for the foreseeable future because 
you know, just how much drama he just always gets caught up in. I just don't feel right purchasing his products. I have to say that I'm glad this came out because y'all, let me keep it really real with y'all. I was like, you know what? Ugh, he's rubbing me the wrong way. I am not going to be purchasing his cosmetics anymore. But that kind of hurt me to say because I really did enjoy purchasing his palettes because as a makeup collector, I just feel like his palettes sit nice within my collection. And like the Bloodless palette, I always look at the Bloodless palette specifically because I'm like, this packaging is so cute. It sits here on my desk and I just really, really like the packaging of it i think that is gorgeous i have nothing like it i love the velour to me it's just so unique and it is a collector's piece so i gotta keep it real with y'all like as soon as i was like you know what i'm not gonna be purchasing his products for the foreseeable future and i know a lot of you guys really do enjoy me doing reviews of his palettes um it kind of hurt me i was like oh you know what what if this next collection is gonna be bomb i'm like oh i'm gonna want to buy it because i always told you guys before there is that side of me that wants to do something that is obviously morally correct but then there is that artist side of me y'all i've been in the makeup industry like i said it's literally almost going to be 13 years and ever since i've been in the makeup world i collect makeup i am a makeup collector and honestly before i got into youtube i never looked at you know a brand's shadiness or a brand's drama i literally would just go makeup shopping and purchase what i like you know um however now obviously being on social media you are given this platform to which you obviously do got to act responsibly and you got to do the morally correct thing uh so with that being said obviously that's why i was like you know what i'm not going to be purchasing his products but i was kind of like a little scared i was like oh watch this be a bomb collection now or a bomb you know palette release and i gotta say out of everything that jeffree star has ever come out with this is 100 percent my least favorite let's go ahead and talk about this mini palette right here honestly this does not appeal to me in any type of way at all you guys know i love shimmers i said before i do believe that this is a full uh diamond uh shimmer palette i could totally be wrong but i have said before his diamond shimmer um formula is actually really nice and it does have a lot of sparkle to it so if you guys like sparkle i think that it is nice um however this doesn't appeal to me i literally have so many shades of this nothing in this is unique to me and i'm just kind of like eh about this whole thing um i will say if they are all uh, are all diamond shimmers i think it will be nice if you don't have these shades but let's keep it real who doesn't really have these shades i feel like they are very common obviously because they are within like you know the champagnes and golds i think the only one that really stands out is the center one which is frozen fire the rest i'm like i literally have it all frozen fire is probably the only one that i don't have but um yeah i don't know it just doesn't really appeal to me and i'm kind of glad for that because y'all i was gonna be like oh man it's gonna hurt me to not buy this but this i'm like eh, i wouldn't purchase it anyways honestly now moving on to the big daddy the palette the orgy palette the large one this honestly let me tell you I know there's a lot of people out there that this will appeal to and i know that there's actually a lot of my makeup artist friends who posted about this like oh my god can't wait to buy this this is a makeup artist dream and stuff like that and look i get it because it does have every nude shade within it however i told you time and time and time again this is just me and my personal preference and i feel this is where people are just gonna like bash me because it's like if you state your opinion dang people like to come for you just for stating your opinion but this is just me one I don't like all matte palettes. I really don't. I've said this time and time again. In my perfect world, I like a palette that has half and half. Like, it would be great to me if there was 50% mattes, 50% shimmers. I feel like that's great. When I look at this, though, however, I do feel like, look, it is appealing to the eye because it does have every shade from nude all the way down to deep, you know? It is just very, very it's nice you know going that being that it goes from white all the way down to what is it like the deepest shade of uh chocolate it is literally nice when it comes to that it just doesn't appeal to me because y'all i do have within my collection several nude palettes especially all matte uh shades i have a violet voss palette and i was literally looking to um show it to you guys and i'm like i have an all matte violet voss palette and i'm like i feel like it has everything within here because i just don't kind of understand why it needs to have 30 shades like literally just 30 shades of nude um and especially all mattes like i'm just kind of like it's a no-go for me i don't know it just does not appeal to me and i do know like i said there's several artists out there who are like oh my gosh this is perfect because you're going to have every shade that you can create a smoky eye with a transition shade with especially for all skin tones so i 100 percent get that however it just doesn't appeal to me it literally looks like that toast scale have you guys seen that burnt toast scale? i'll put a picture right here that's what i literally thought of as soon as i saw it i was like that looks like that burnt toast scale um so yeah this whole thing honestly overall 
look let me keep it really real with y'all like drama aside me speaking as a makeup lover and a makeup collector if i was going to purchase something within this collection i think even though it's just like way too overpriced i think it would be the liquid lipstick set but i'm only saying that specifically because of the five new shades because i think that i like those um like i said the very nude one you know to do an ombre lip i feel like it would be beautiful however everything else genuinely does not appeal to me it really really doesn't including the big orgy palette and honestly y'all i was really excited to see the inside of it i know a lot of people were obviously talking trash you know about the outside but i gotta tell you i personally did like the outside i thought that it was really cool like it was just kind of like you know sexy and unique and different yes i will definitely say within my personal opinion it was 100 percent inspired by rupaul viva glam i definitely think that whether he wants to admit it or not i don't no, but it 100% was inspired by that. You can totally tell. But I thought that it was really nice. And I think a lot of people online were like, oh no, this is so boring. This is so blah. But I don't know. I thought it looked really cute. However, the inside of the palette, it just doesn't appeal to me. I will say if you guys are starting out within, you know, freelancing and stuff like this, and you guys are looking for a palette that is obviously going to have multi, you know, skin shade tones, I think that it would be a good asset to your palette i mean to your collection i'm sorry because i do feel like look you will have every shade that you need in there but an all matte palette just doesn't ever appeal to me especially when i'm like in freelance mode even though i haven't freelanced in like two years at this point i like a palette that is going to have a little bit of everything you know not just all mattes because i very rarely create an all matte look but that's just my two cents that's just my opinion on it what do you guys think over the name a lot of people were saying like it's just so tacky however i do feel like a lot of sexual terms have always been in makeup like honestly look at nars they have so many sexual terms within their makeup and that's like a more prestige brand i would say they're a little bit more classy and they still have a lot of erotic names you know but uh what do you guys think about it i, I look y'all coming to me it doesn't really phase me it doesn't bother me in any type of way i feel like you know some people like to partake in these things and who are we to judge right so anyways y'all let me know your thoughts and opinions on the collection as a whole oh you know what i forgot to mention the mirrors um the whole like mirrors in the bag i will say look i've said this before even though i've never purchased a mirror from jeffrey just because i'm too cheap <laughs> i get my mirrors from the 99 cent store and i'm like that's completely fine i don't need you know a little cute 30 dollar mirror in my hand but i will say i do feel like they are actually really really pretty the one that stood out to me the most was that deep chocolate shade oh that one i was like that is actually really beautiful i feel like his mirrors are really really nice and obviously a lot of people like them because they're aesthetically pleasing but i'm just always too cheap so i'm just like no. But anyways, y'all let me know your thoughts and opinions on everything, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, Girl Scout.